Hi everyone and welcome back. In this episode, let's dive into the process of how to give life to our terrain with adding materials. Materials are what defines the color to our terrain. We can color the terrain based on RGB values, custom imported texture maps, or even substance files. To begin, let's click on the materials icon within our global biome here. Then let's go ahead and click the add material button. And by default, any new material will be displayed as white. We can edit this color by clicking on the drop down menu next to the color setting and choosing any color in the spectrum bar. Adjust for saturation and brightness, and we've now established our first material color. Additionally, we can edit the RGB values manually. Type in a hex value, or to use the color picker, hover your mouse anywhere on the monitor, including this image. Press the space bar and it'll lock in a generalized color based on that location. We can adjust the metalness slider to determine if the material is dielectric or not, and the amount of roughness for the material. So this section we just looked at is just the general shading or color tint of the material, but say we want to use texture maps for more detail. This texturing section and drop down menu allows us to choose between none, importing our own textures, or importing a substance texture. Let's look at importing our own textures first. I have here a set of texture maps provided by RD Textures. Now your texture can be from any source of textures you may have. Custom ones you've created, RD Textures in this case, Mega Scans, Polygon, Game Textures, and so on. Let's add a texture by selecting the Albedo Channel slot here and navigate to our Albedo or Color Texture file. Click open and you'll see that all the other maps are automatically imported as well. That's because I have this use import pattern enabled and within the settings panel, I have each texture type named appropriately to match the texture type in the folder. If for some reason a texture doesn't import automatically, that's okay, we can simply import them individually as well. You'll see that the texture comes in quite nicely but is a bit too large. Increasing the UV scale will change the scale of the material, so somewhere around here will do just nicely for now. We can adjust the normal strength to punch up those details a bit if we want to. We also have the option to have our terrain tessellated based on materials as well. So enabling the displacement here and adjusting the height scale slider can produce some great results. Do keep in mind though, using this feature can be quite taxing for some systems, so be careful to not overdo it. Additionally, we can still change the color or tint in this case, metalness as well, and roughness of the texture much like we did earlier with just a color. But in this case, it's establishing a global parameter for this particular material. And lastly, the use satellite image allows us to use a referenced satellite image in place of this texture. We'll be covering all satellite data in another video later on. So we've looked at using color and textures as our material, but let's not forget that we have the ability to use substance files as well. To add a substance material, just click the preview window here, select the SBAR file you want to add, and then the substance material will be imported along with all the custom material properties associated with it. Substances are a fantastic source of textures to use because of the unlimited amount of custom adjustments you can make with them in engine. If you've created your own substances with different material properties created in Substance Designer, you'll be able to access them right here within the Substance Material Property window, much like you can in other DCC applications. Additionally, the global parameters we discussed earlier will also affect the substance material. Our last section in a material settings is applying a gradient. Gradients are a fantastic way to easily blend varying colors and details together in unique ways for a more realistic result. You can use just a gradient itself as a material or you can use it as a blending agent. To start, we have a, another drop down menu to select what type we want. None, biome, which establishes this gradient globally for this specific biome, and custom, which lets you set a gradient for this specific material. Once selected, you have up to five slot options for specifying different gradients to use for different use cases. Let's just click the first slot to begin. Now we need to fill this slot with a selection of colors to make a gradient. So the first option is to select pick, follow the on-screen instructions. So I'm going to hold control 
and drag my cursor over this image. Left click to essentially end the capture and you'll see the gradient slot has been populated. Now to help you along, World Creator has set up some pre-made definitions for what type of material this gradient is going to be in this distribution drop-down menu. These are what's called distribution rules, which we will cover more in depth in the next video, but it basically defines where on the terrain this material, or in this case, gradient, will be painted on the terrain. Let's go ahead and pick Rocky, and you'll see it comes with some settings specific to a rock definition. If we had a second gradient in the second slot, we can assign this slot to a different type of distribution, such as snow, which has different settings for how it appears on the landscape. Furthermore, we can control how each gradient slot is blended with the previous gradient from what type of operation mode it's in, and by the blend and blend smoothness sliders below. Lastly, the import button lets you import a pre-made gradient for a single slot or for the entire gradient swatch such as this one that comes with World Creator. You simply need to establish which gradient slots to find what type of distribution you want and you should be good to go. Just like how we organize the terrain filters, materials are also structured in a layer-based system. This helps provide you with understanding the hierarchy of your materials in a straightforward way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.